Welcome to Reading with Miss Nickerson. Today we're going to read another story from Walt Disney's classic storybook called Pedro. Once upon a time in a little airport near Santiago, Chile, there lived three little airplanes. There was a papa plane, a mama plane, and a baby plane named Pedro. When he grew up, Pedro wanted to be a male plane, just like his father. So Pedro went to ground school every day and studied hard to learn his ABCs of flying. In geography class, he learned about the mail route between Santiago and Mendoza over the mighty Andes past Aconcagua, the highest mountain in the Western Hemisphere. Pedro dreamed of the day when he might fly that route. Then one morning, the papa plane had a cold in his cylinder head, so he couldn't deliver the mail. The mama plane had high oil pressure, so she couldn't do it either. But the mail had to go through. There was only Pedro to take it. Flight two leaving for Mendoza, chanted the signal tower. That's me, said Pedro, and he swung into position on the runway. Pedro waved a wing in the direction of his parents' hangar. Then he took off. Don't lose your flying speed, he heard the signal tower fall from the ground. And up into the air flew Pedro. He had a hard time of it, struggling for altitude. But he put everything he had into it. Soon, Pedro was flying over the mountains. Looking right and left, he kept a careful distance between himself and the mountain peaks. But suddenly, oh, oh, down fell Pedro. And at such terrific speed that his muffler and cap were ripped loose. Pedro was caught in a downdraft. He fought against the downward pull with all his strength. At last, he managed to push his nose up and pull out. Then Pedro headed into the range of snowy peaks. He was doing all right. In fact, Pedro fell on top of the world when suddenly he shuddered in every cylinder. He was face to face with that towering monarch, Akangagua. And most frightening of all, the crags of the mountainside seemed to form an evil stone face. Taking a deep breath, Pedro shot forward, raced behind a huge cloud, and came out on the other side of the peak, safe and sound and pleased with himself. The worst was over. Now it was clear sailing to Mendoza. Pedro came into the Mendoza airport just as he had been taught. He spied the mailbag on the hangar hook, waiting for pickup. Almost bursting with pride, Pedro rolled over on his back and floated down toward the dangling sack. He hooked it neatly over one wing and in another moment he was flying off again. Now Pedro was homeward bound. And he was ahead of schedule. Just for practice, he did a few barrel rolls and loop-de-loops. He dove through clouds. He had a wonderful time. But he forgot all about being a mail plane with a job to do. He spied a giant condor and chased the ugly bird all over the sky. Before long, Pedro lost track of the condor in a dense fog. Before him loomed a Kankagua. Shrouded in low clouds, the oil froze in little Pedro's cylinders. His motor knocked with fright. Bravely, he headed toward the peak. Now a storm broke loose with a roar of fury. The lightning lashed out at him, rain blinded him, and the wind kept shoving him toward the mountain. Suddenly, his windshield wiper shuddered, and he spun around in midair. Before he could right himself, the mailbag dropped from his wing. The brave little plane dove through the storm after the lost mailbag. Down he shot into the heart of the storm and grabbed the bag on a wing. Now I've got to climb, he told himself. Up, up into the storm, Pedro climbed. More altitude, he thought. I need 25,000 feet. Up and still up, he fought his way. At last, the altimeter hand pointed to 25,000. Pedro leveled off and headed for home. But just as he got his nose pointed safely toward the home airport, Pedro started coughing and sputtering and he couldn't stop it. Oh no, he was out of gas. Poor Pedro began to fall toward the mountains. Back at the home airport, Pedro's parents searched the empty skies in vain. They saw the blackness gather over the mountain peaks and knew that it meant a storm. The hours passed, but there was no sign of Pedro. Suddenly, a distant whirr caught their ears. They looked up, hopefully. The eyes of the tower opened and searchlights flashed into the sky. It couldn't be. But yes, it was Pedro. He hit the runway head first and bounced along upside down. His gas gauge was on empty, but Pedro had managed to glide home. It may not have been exactly a three-point landing, said the proud Papa Plane, but Pedro brought the mail through. 
The Papa Plane unhooked the mailbag and opened it. There was one card inside. Estoy divirtiéndome. It read, having a wonderful time. Hmm, said the Papa Plane. Well, it might have been important. Pedro wagged his tail and smiled proudly. And the Papa Plane, the Mama Plane, and the little Pedro flew happily ever after. The end.